In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to consider before taking creatine. And yes, this is something I've taken regularly, so I'm well aware of its effects on both body and mind. Creatine is a nitrogenous organic acid that occurs naturally in the body and plays a crucial role in the production of adenosine triphosphate, which is the primary energy currency of cells. It is composed of three amino acids, arginine, glycine, and methionine. The majority of creatine is stored in muscles, where it helps provide rapid energy during short bursts of intense physical activity. Creatine has been used for years in the fitness industry by many athletes and individuals involved in resistance training or high-intensity activities to enhance their performance. Creatine supplementation can increase the creatine phosphate stores in muscles, leading to improved ATP regeneration during short bursts of intense physical activity. This can result in increased strength, power, and overall athletic performance. If you want to know what the risks with creatine are, I'm going to be talking about that shortly, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. But before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss another video. Let's go! A lot of people are told creatine is this miracle supplement that will drastically increase your overall muscle mass, but they don't actually know what it does or why they really need to take it. Be honest, does this sound like you? Don't worry, you're not the only one. Let's have a look at some of the many benefits of taking creatine regularly. Number 1. Improve Strength and Muscle Mass Creatine increases strength primarily by enhancing the availability of adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of cells, during short bursts of high-intensity activity. Creatine is stored in muscles as creatine phosphate. During short bursts of intense exercise, such as lifting weights or sprinting, the muscles rapidly use ATP for energy. Creatine phosphate donates a phosphate group to ADP, quickly regenerating ATP. Adenosine triphosphate or ATP regeneration is vital as this allows the muscles to sustain high-intensity contractions for a longer duration. Having an increase in ATP, individuals can perform more repetitions or lift heavier weights during resistance training. This increased training volume over time can lead to greater muscle adaptations, including increased strength and muscle mass. Looking away from your training, creatine could have an effect of the food you fuel your body with. Some studies suggest that creatine supplementation may influence muscle protein synthesis directly. While the mechanisms are not fully understood, creatine might promote an anabolic environment within muscle cells, leading to increased protein synthesis and, consequently, muscle growth. Creatine draws water into muscle cells, leading to cellular hydration. While this effect doesn't directly stimulate muscle protein synthesis, it can contribute to the temporary increase in muscle size. The additional water content within the muscle cells may enhance the appearance of muscle fullness. Training can be exhausting. That's why you'll be glad to hear creatine's second benefit, which is Number 2 boosts your energy levels. Creatine can have positive effects on energy levels, particularly during short bursts of high-intensity activities. We've already spoken about the importance of ATP, but an increase in adenosine diphosphate provides a rapid and readily available source of energy for the muscles. By enhancing ATP regeneration, creatine helps individuals perform better during activities that require short bursts of high-intensity effort. This can lead to improved performance in strength training, sprinting, and other explosive exercises. The increased availability of ATP through creatine supplementation can delay the onset of fatigue during high-intensity exercise. This allows individuals to sustain their efforts for a slightly longer duration before experiencing exhaustion. With an increase in your energy levels, you'll be able to train harder, longer, and better, meaning you'll need to make sure you consider. Number 3. Better Recovery Creatine supplementation may have positive effects on the recovery process after intense exercise. Intense exercise, especially resistance training or high-impact activities, can lead to muscle damage. Creatine has been suggested to have potential protective effects against muscle damage, possibly by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress. Creatine may have anti-inflammatory properties, helping to minimize inflammation associated with exercise-induced muscle damage. This could contribute to a faster recovery by reducing soreness and discomfort. By providing additional energy during high intensity exercise, creatine may improve an individual's training tolerance. This means that individuals can potentially perform more work during training sessions without experiencing excessive fatigue, contributing to better overall recovery. When taking creatine, it's important you understand the benefits, but it might be more important that you consider the risks. There are some potential risks involved in taking creatine regularly, and the main concern with many who take it is. Number 1. Creatine causes balding. Many people believe that taking creatine regularly can't cause your hair to fall out. 
How true is this? Some misconceptions may arise due to a misinterpretation of anecdotal experiences or misinformation. There's no substantial scientific evidence linking creatine to balding. Genetics, hormonal factors, and aging are primary contributors to hair loss, and creatine has not been proven to be a significant factor in this regard. However, other studies show that if you have balding in your genetics, then the regular consumption of creatine may have an impact on this process. Again, it's important to understand that there is still a lack of evidence to back this. Balding would be the least of your concerns if you were to have. Number 2. Kidney Issues While creatine is generally safe for most people, there have been concerns about its potential impact on kidneys. Some studies suggest that creatine might increase the risk of kidney damage, particularly in individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions. It's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before using creatine, especially if you have kidney issues, to ensure it's safe for you. Staying hydrated and using creatine within recommended doses can help minimize potential risks. Although the potential risks may have convinced you that creatine maybe isn't for you, it's important to understand that if taken in moderation, the risks of creatine are very minimal. Creatine is generally considered safe for most people when used within recommended doses. It is one of the most researched and studied supplements, with a substantial body of evidence supporting its safety and effectiveness for improving athletic performance. However, as with any supplement, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting creatine, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions or concerns. So, how much should you take daily? The standard recommended dose for creatine supplementation is around 3 to 5 grams per day. This is a common dosage that has been shown to be effective in enhancing athletic performance without causing adverse effects for most individuals. It's generally recommended to take creatine with a source of carbohydrates to enhance its absorption. However, you can take creatine anytime you want throughout the day. Some people prefer taking it pre or post workout, while others take it with a meal. Timing is not as critical as consistency in daily intake. So, how do you know if you should take it or not? Whether you should take creatine depends on your fitness goals, health status, and personal preferences. Creatine is generally safe and has been shown to be effective in improving athletic performance, especially for high-intensity, short-duration activities. Before you go, did you know that you don't need to take a creatine supplement to get its effects? Yes, red meat is a natural dietary source of creatine. Creatine is synthesized in the body and is also obtained through certain foods, with red meat being one of the richest sources. Consuming red meat provides a natural way to increase creatine levels in the body. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more fitness videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos we think you'll love. Both of them will definitely help you reach your goals. Bye for now.